White Mamba. Yoka Yam Pembe. He's the commander of the kids based out of Wala Yamasa. As you know, contract forces of Africa were stationed at that village. Anti-government forces hired DRS to bring kids there from around Africa for training. But at some point, the adults with the PF started dropping like flies. This was right after we arrived in Africa. We don't know the cause. The kids ended up on their own. Must have been like fish out of water. Nothing to eat, no way to get back home. All the adults taught them was how to use a gun. Sure, they could shoot targets, but hunt for food? Not likely. They wouldn't have lasted long. Then the White Mamba showed up. He was faster and stronger than them. A better soldier, and he knew how to lead. I guess somebody wished upon a star, because their savior turned up like stardust straight out of the blue. The moment he arrived, the kids had their new commander. That was when they started attacking other villages. Word of the infamous White Mamba spread fast. But it isn't just his combat skills that got people talking. As you can tell from the name, he's the only light-skinned kid in the unit. Not to mention the blonde hair and the blue eyes. Not common in those parts. We have no idea where he came from or what he's experienced. The kid's a huge blank. But I'm sure you'll know him when you see him. One other thing. He's still a kid, so don't kill him. Be careful not to hit him with anything lethal. Not even a flesh wound. Our mission objective isn't just suppressing a bunch of militants. This is a DDR operation of the kids in that unit. DDR stands for Disarmament, Demobilization, and Reintegration. Disarmament is obvious. We take their weapons off their hands. The demobilization part means dismantling their military organization to ensure they can't arm themselves again. To do that, you need to capture the unit's commander and have him order his men to disband. In this case, the commander is the White Mamba. There's nobody above him, so he's all we need to grab. Finally, reintegration. Through education and occupational training, we give them a means to live besides war. A lot of kids born in a war zone don't know any other way to live. 